Project Bludini here. Um, spent a couple hours yesterday installing the kit. I got the header, uh, driver's side header installed. Uh, caps removed from the passenger side. Um, got the oil fitting installed. You remove the pressure sensor on the driver's side and put a T in and uh, put the sensor back in the end of the T. Um, got the oil pump return installed. That's it right there on that plate. Um, you have to drill and tap, tap the block and put these studs in. One goes on the idler. I don't It's, it's all right. It's not nothing difficult about it. Um, you need a right angle drill to drill, um, the, the one hole that's not tapped and threaded. Uh, there's not enough space in here. I ended up, I pulled the fans out. It only has two bolts on the top and one plug and it slides out. You do have to remove the upper radiator hose, um, which was just dangling in, in the way here anyway. So taking it off isn't really a big deal. Um, gave me a lot more room. It also gave me more room to take the crank bolt out, which you have to put back in and it's a lot longer bolt. I don't even think with the fans you, in you could uh you'd be able to do that so i took it off took it off um not a huge fan of the way this uh oil pump re or oil return pump kind of mounts in the way that it's all done i don't know i you know i'm not a fabricator and don't necessarily have a better idea but i'm just not a huge fan of the way it mounts um got to put in my new thermostat while i'm in here i got the hose off and then this is an extension piece that goes on because if you put that plate in there in the way, so you have to put the extension on there to get around the plate. And uh, nothing, you know, nothing too difficult so far. Just, um, yeah, just taking my time and, and working through it. So uh, that's kind of the updates. A little bit of changes that I did, but nothing, uh, nothing too vast from the instructions. So I'm going to keep on the install here.